Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sandeepa Biswas and in this video I am going to uh, discuss the elasticity of factor substitution in Cobb Douglas production function. So, in Cobb Douglas production function, elasticity of factor substitution is equal to unity. And you can write it or uh, symbolize it elasticity of substitution or the sigma sign. The formula for this is proportionate change in capital labor ratio divided by the proportionate change in the MRTS of labor for capital. Right. So you can write it in this form. This is uh, this symbolizes for change, change in capital labor ratio upon capital labor ratio divided by the change in MRTS of labor for capital upon MRTS of labor for capital. Right. Now you know that I am supposing that you know that MRTS of L for K is equal to the ratio of marginal product, mar marginal physical product of labor upon or divided by marginal physical product of capital. You can write it uh, here as MPL of labor that is marginal physical product of labor divided by marginal physical product of capital. Right? So MRTS of L for K is MPL upon MPK. Right? You can also write it the MRTS of L for K as alpha K upon L divided by 1 upon L, uh, sorry 1 minus alpha uh, multiplied by Q uh, upon K. This 1 minus alpha you can also write it beta. Right. So when we put it in this form it becomes or it looks like alpha upon 1 minus alpha uh, multiplied by k by l. Here you can also write it alpha upon beta multiplied by k by l. So, so far we, um, we have seen the MRTS, the expressions for MRTS, right? Now uh, we, but now um, we are interested in finding out the uh, sim uh, simple formula of uh, elasticity of substitution or the sigma. So I am going to erase it. You can pause the video and note down uh, up to this. So we have alpha upon beta or I will go with in this video alpha upon 1 minus alpha multiplied by k by uh, L ratio. We have this expression for MRTS of L for k but we are, in, uh, we are also interested in the change in the MRTS. So we will put a, uh, we are interested in MRTS LK. So we will put a delta sign before this expression alpha upon 1 minus alpha multiplied by k by l. Um, okay, we cut this. So now I am erasing it too. Now we can have the um, formula for sigma very easily. We will uh, bring it here and put this delta sign with the K by L ratio because this is, is the constant. Okay. Alpha and uh, 1 minus alpha is a constant. There will be no change in it. Now, the sigma will be um, D K by L. So, 
we got this for our sigma change in k by l upon k by l ratio and here is the ratio of uh, alpha upon 1 minus alpha change in k by l ratio and upon k by l and again alpha upon 1 minus alpha now we have to simplify it so i will uh, write it or rewrite it in a more uh, simple way so that you can understand it very easily uh, please uh, write down up to this point i hope you have written it so i'm going to rewrite the expression the whole expression for the sigma uh, so the sigma will be equal to k by l upon k by l whole upon alpha k by l upon alpha right we have the same ex uh, formula in this uh, format just to make you understand it more clearly now we can put this expression this one um, here right so we can put this expression uh, in the numerator so it will be like um, d k on l multiplied by k by l alpha upon 1 minus alpha upon k by l upon alpha 1 minus alpha multiplied by k by l right any problem so far i think no this will be cancelled out right both are the same so this will be cancelled out and what we are left with we are left with k by l ratio multiplied by alpha upon 1 minus alpha and here we have alpha upon 1 minus alpha multiplied by k uh, delta k upon l right so you can see that both uh, the dim, uh, the numerator and the denominator is equal we are left with the same expressions in the numerator and denominator so what we will have we will have one a big one right so the um, elasticity of factor substitution in cobb douglas production function is equal to one right i hope you understood this so far pause the video and write it down now how the cobb douglas production function of or the uh, linear homogeneous production function of the first degree look like in figure we will have uh, something like this isoquant and we will make a expansion path see this is of 100 200, 300 and 400 of output. Here is labor. Here is capital. Right. So, the um, this is the constant returns to scale. 
of production and the um, point A, point B, point C and point D, the distance of these points will be equal. That means by uh, changing the uh, factor uh, proportion, if we change the factor pr proportion, the change in the output will be the same. And that is why we will have 1 over here. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.